to my channel if you're new, welcome. So in today's video, I show you guys how I do this soft glam drugstore makeup look. This video is in partnership with CVS. They recently, and by recent, I mean like in December, I'm just late with this video because I lost my memory card in Miami. And I'll talk about that in this video because I've already filmed this video already. But they recently added a new feature in select stores around the US where it's pretty much like a they, they're expanding their beauty section. Hey guys, so I just got to CVS. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of their like beauty section because it's much more expanded now. Um, and then we're gonna go over there to the beauty bar and I'm gonna get a makeover. So I actually filmed this footage last year. Let me so you can see me. I filmed this last year in December when I went to Miami and lost my camera. That memory card was in that camera, but I'm not, I'm not mad at that though because because I, I've already done this, I have like more knowledge now so I can you know tell you guys more about the sections and the new features their beauty bar has. So we're gonna do this a second time and I'm gonna show you guys everything. Like I said, we're gonna do a makeover. And um, yeah, by the way, when I did this last year, I actually got my ears pierced. So I already had these two, but I got these two pierced and they're all healed now. As you can see, I've already changed the earrings and everything. So they do have an option um, at the beauty bar where you can get your ears pierced. And I think it's super cool. So I got these two and I got two on this ear too. So those are all healed. I just want you guys to know I got them done here. All right, so let's go over this. It's like I kind of want to do voiceover because, you know, it's kind of noisy in here. Well, not noisy, but you know, they do a little overhead, little voice thingy. But let's try to do this very quick. So when you first walk in, um, obviously you have these little gondolas, you know, of different fragrances and whatnot and just other products. But you go here, honestly this is probably like my favorite section because I think it's cool and I'll tell you why. You have the minis, must have some more. So you pretty much have different minis, uh, skincare, makeup, just anything mini. But I think the best thing about this section is that if you buy three minis, you get a small bag with it for free. If you buy six minis, you get a medium bag. And if you buy nine mediums, you get a large bag. So I think that's super cool because they definitely don't have to do that. But it's like imagine buying a whole bunch of minis and knowing you get a bag to put your mini stuff in it. I think that's super cute. So when you walk down, obviously you have, you know, your makeup brand. So you have your NYX, you have your CoverGirl, L'Oreal, just, you know, all the, the, you know, just all the, you know, typical drugstore makeup brands. But they have brands that are typically only sold online now in CVS. So this is Wonder 2. I've actually tried their products before. A few years ago, um, they were pretty popular on Instagram because this product right here is pretty much like a brow tint, but it lasts like for a minute. Like, well, it says right here, it lasts for days, but it lasts for a while. I had the shade Brunette, actually, and it took me a while to buy it because I hate ordering stuff online, makeup specifically, because I just don't like waiting. <laughs> So I think it's cool that they have it in CVS now so you can go and just buy it here. They also have the Cream Shop, which is another online brand. They have Carity, which you guys have probably heard of before. This brand makes dupes for like popular brands like Anastasia and those kind of brands. They make like palettes and they, have, they also have their own lashes. They have Joa. Um, this brand's actually sent me packages before. It's like a Korean beauty brand. Um, whole bunch of makeup products here. And just other things. They have Essence too. Everyone knows I love Essence. They're gloss. This gloss goes crazy. I have this one. I have this one. I have this one. I have this one too. I have all these. Okay, let me shut up. Um, Essence makes bomb glosses. I have all these messieres too. I love Essence. So they have that as well. And then of course you go down here and they have more beauty products. Real Techniques, Elf, Ardell, you know, the basics. But I like how big and how wide, like their beauty section feels like its own store within itself. So I think that's pretty cool. Now one more thing I'm gonna show you guys before we sit down and do the makeover. I'm gonna show my face because I feel bad that you guys can't see my face while I'm talking. I'm just not used to these lashes. I got lash extensions and I feel like they re look really intense without makeup, but they look better with makeup on, I promise. But um, CVS is a pharmacy, you guys know that, so they're all about like, you know, inner health, and just their pharmacy they want like you know they want you to feel good on the inside as well as the outside so if you look at their campaign photos and after i tell you guys this i promise you whenever you go to cvs you're gonna start paying attention more they have this little thing that says beauty unaltered and if the photo or the ad for the makeup brand says that that means that these photos were not digitally altered at all like they weren't edited no face tune no nothing so let's go find one that was altered just so you can see the difference digitally altered. Katy Perry. She's 
you got some face tune, it's okay. But at least CVS is letting you know. So that way, like, you know, you know what to expect when using the product. And there's just pretty much no, um, I'm trying to find the right word for it, but there's no, like, misleading, you know? Like, it's not realistic to have perfect skin or, like, airbrushed skin. So letting you know that, hey, this photo was altered a bit. So you know not to, you know, have the same expectations that are in this photo where if this one, says be unaltered meaning they didn't edit this photo at all and if you look closely my camera won't really pick up on it but you can see the texture of her skin and everything so I think that is pretty cool so you go over here and you have the beauty services you can get your hair washed and, well, let me just show you guys the list so you get a blowout and shampoo you get waves curls braids buttons and ponytails accent braids then you get your makeup which is what I'm doing today you get full makeup or you know just brows lips you know just one feature. Get add-ons, tutorials, kids, and then ear piercing, which I was telling you guys earlier um, that I got like four piercing bells here last time. So here's a little shampoo bowl. I think it's really cute. And then I have this actually get your makeup done. And I think it's really cool. So that's what we're about to do. We're about to get a makeover. When I went, I got my makeup done twice by Joanna, who I highly recommend. I love her makeup style, and that's a lot come from me because I usually do not like when people do my makeup. They never know how to really like you know work on my face, but she did a really good job, and she was just super cool. And so if you're in LA, I, re I definitely recommend going to the CVS by the Beverly Center because that's where Joanna is, and she's just super cool. And I mean, I guess you will just have to go in order to see what I'm talking about. She's just super cool. So they have a whole cute little section. I think it's super cool. Um, when you get there, if you want to book an appointment while in the store, they have like this little like, it's like a touch screen thing where you could do it on the screen. You just put your number and they text you like, hey, like here's your appointment, blah, blah. It is super cool. And they have a new feature. Sorry, I feel like I'm talking really fast. And I sound excited, but I think it's really cool. But with their ads, um, and I didn't even notice this until they told me during the sponsorship. And now whenever I go to CVS, I look for it. And you'll probably do that after this video. But CVS, they pretty much no longer want to put out ads that are super edited and super unrealistic so you'll see at the bottom of each pick it'll show you which ones are digitally altered or which ones are not altered at all and i think it's super cool because because of this and because like the um the photos and campaigns are now like labeled like hey like if you, this is altered people are gonna know a lot of these brands aren't over editing the photos anymore because they don't want that label put onto the photo. So I think it's pretty cool because I mean if you look close like you'll see that like they won't alter the texture of people's skin. They won't do any of that and I think it's really cool. So I am gonna let you guys watch this video now. I'm gonna insert the vlog footage of when I went into the store and you know had the experience myself and I'm gonna show you guys how I did this makeup look. If you enjoy it, give this video a thumbs up, please subscribe and I'm so sorry I just talked that fast. I just talk fast when I get excited about things and I think it's really cool that CVS reached out to me because I mean I've always gone to CVS like I got a, a number there and everything. I get my savings. I get money off when I buy stuff. It's really cool. So yeah, I think it's a really cool partnership. It's, it feels very organic and just natural to my channel because I mean, I, you know, everyone goes to CBS. But anyways, I'm gonna just watch this video. If you enjoy it, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys later. All right, so last night, well technically speaking, literally like a few hours ago, I went to CVS like four in the morning and I bought a whole bunch of stuff for this video. Now, I went at four in the morning because the CVS next to me that I always go to, it doesn't have like this new feature yet where it has all these new mega brands and the whole beauty station and whatnot. So the closest one to me is Beverly Center and everyone knows, well maybe not everyone because they're not in LA, but from Glendale where I live to Beverly Center is about like 45 minutes, especially during the daytime. So I figured if I went at night when no one's driving, it would just be the smartest thing to do. And it was because no one was in the store. I was able to shop and do my thing and get in and get out. And it was just a great experience. I like doing all my shopping late at night, by the way. Like I go I go grocery shopping at like one in the morning when no one's there. So anyways, um, I bought a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know what kind of look I'm going for. I kind of want to go for the look that the makeup artist there did on me. I love Joanna. That's the girl who like works at that specific store and she did my makeup twice. And she's so cool. Like, I love her. Did I ever, you know, wait, hold on. I have her number. I have to text her. Hey, I forgot to text you. She was so cool. And you guys know I like making friends. Anyways, I'm gonna prime my face first using this NYX Hydro Trust Prime. I've actually never used this before, but it sounded legit, it sounded moisturizing. So, ooh, it's like a jelly. There's this one primer. Ooh, this feels good. What the? This feels really good, I'm gonna put more. 
But there's just one primer Joanna used on me, and I can't remember the brand to save the life of me because I'd actually never heard of it before, but they sell it at CVS now. And it was so good. Like it was like it's like it reminds me of this. And then she used eye cream, like she prepped my face really nicely, which I think is cool that you can even like get that service. Like say you're out and you just want to look cute real quick, you literally go into CVS. Like they only have it in 50 stores so far. Um, they just, you know, added this to their stores. But I just think it's cool that it's even like available in general. I got my ears pierced there, which I got on the first vlog that I lost. <laughs> um, got my ears pierced. I took two of the earrings out though. Well, I actually fell out of my sleeve. Um, I just haven't put it back in yet, but I have these two pierced as well. You can get your hair washed and blow dried. You can get little braid styles. It's a really cool feature. I just, I wish there was one closer to me because man. All right, prime my skin. I bought a lot of different concealers. I don't know which one I want to use. I bought the two NYX ones, the Can't Stop Won't Stop. I don't think I've tried these yet. Then I bought the L'Oreal Infallible. I think I've tried these before. Um, but then again, it's like when you're shopping at three in the morning, like it's kind of hard. And then it's like I took a lift there, so I felt bad. Um, luckily, no one else was like, requesting a ride at three, four in the morning, so like he didn't mind waiting for me. But like I was in a rush, like I was just grabbing stuff. I've been spending like three hundred twenty dollars, like on grabbing all this stuff. Okay, so the shades I got, I got golden, which looks like it'd be my shade. Oh, it's really golden. Okay. That's why I got beige too, because I knew I had to mix them, because I like right under eye, so. Whoa, these are really yellow. Like, maybe I should use the infallible. Oh my God, okay. This is why you don't shop at four in the morning. Okay, you know what, you guys know I make things work, okay. Let's blend these off first, since they've already been applied to the face. And I know how I will fix this or how I'll make this work. But the formula itself is bomb. I just picked the wrong colors, that's my fault. That's definitely full coverage. Okay, I'm gonna take the L'Oreal um, concealer, and this is the shade, what are you? 20, creamy neutral, and it's a neutral shade, so I think that will like kinda like help tone out the yellowness. And this one is a full coverage. It's very like sheer. But hopefully blending these two in, it should it should do what I'm thinking it's gonna do. Yeah, that was cool. Wow. My mind, very powerful. That was good. Alright. Foundation. I kind of stuck in my comfort zone and I got my fit me because I just know this is great. However, I did buy the Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. Um, in which my sister helped create. And it's like I'm gonna use that. I mean, I bought this too, but I've already used that before, so let's use something new. Okay. Uh, also, one thing I'll say, um, in comparison to the CVS at my, um, not at my house, by my house, in comparison to the new one where like they have like you know more like a beauty section I like that they have freaking testers for everything um, because when I'm, the one by my house that's not updated yet it doesn't um, have testers and I noticed that but this one with the new beauty feature it does have testers so it makes it easy to pick out your foundation because everyone knows that when it comes to like buying drugstore stuff like you gotta you have to know or you won't know until you get home and you'll see, okay, like is this a good match or not. Now me, I did swatch these concealers and I just had bad judgment. <laughs> Cause I definitely swatched them on my hand, but I was in such a rush, guys. I felt really bad, I took the lift, I'll take five minutes. And I took like 10, you know, I felt bad about that. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make it work. And I did, so there's that. This is looking really good. You guys know the drill though, whenever I do foundation, I like to blend it out with a brush. This all feels really good. Like it feels like a kind of matte, but not really. I can't explain it, it's like, it's like a demi matte. Mm. Joanna texts me back, I love making friends. She's so cool. Uh, okay, let me do my job, then I'll text back. I'm gonna add a little more of this light concealer. 
and blend that out. But yeah, as I was saying, if you're in LA, I would definitely recommend going to the CVS by the Beverly Center and seeing Joanna because she's really cool. And I like her makeup style, which says a lot because I'm so picky when it comes to people doing my makeup. Like, I'm so freaking picky. But she does it in a way where it's very just light, you know? And I guess, like, I like that so much because it's way different than what I'm used to. But it's like, I can't explain it. It's like me, like, you guys know, like, I'm... I'm Super full coverage, despite not necessarily needing full coverage. I just like the look and feel of it. And so when she did it, it was way different than what I'm used to. You know, it was very just like light and just natural. But it wasn't bad. I can't explain it. Like, and she was also very gentle. And I've had people do my makeup who were very rushed. One time I got my makeup done at this counter, and the guy blended the eyeshadow so rough that my eyes were bloodshot red for like a day. And like he was doing my eyeshadow, I'm like, okay, like, you know, it's kind of rough. And I told him, I'm like, okay, like, you know, soften up a little bit. But it's like he was blending so much, it's like by the time he was done, like the eyeshadow wasn't there anymore. And I just remember thinking like, what just happened to me? <laughs> so she was very like gentle and just, it was like, it was like very relaxing, you know? And I like that she had like confidence when doing my makeup. I feel like because a lot of people know, and she like recommended me for my channel. And so usually like, you know, if I get my makeup done and people know like that I do makeup or that like, I do YouTube, it's like they're nervous to do my face. They feel like, okay, like she already has mastered doing her own face. Like I'm gonna mess up. But like she like, you know, she just did her own thing. And I just trust her. You know, when I get my makeup done, I'm not really picky. Like, I'm like, hey, you're the artist. I'm gonna just let you do your thing. Kind of was like to freelance and you're doing someone's makeup and they want to question you and just doubt you the whole time. It's like, girl, why did you hire me? So when she did my makeup, I'm like, do your thing. I trust you to do your thing. And she appreciated that. And I appreciate her because she's super cool. And I just like her. So if you're not like, go to the Middle Center and see Joanna because she's really cool. All right. It's Dolly Mad by Setting Powder. Where was my mind? Okay. But this drugstore though. So I'm going to look for a drugstore powder in one of my drawers. So I have this foundation powder by L'Oreal. I try to pick up products that actually are in CVS and I know that. And this is in the shade Sun Beige. It's a true match. So I'm gonna just go over my whole face with that, including my under eye. I don't have any loose powder right now. I mean, I guess I just did not think that through. It was four in the morning, babe. I don't know what to say. And I mean, I would use another powder, but like, I wanna, you know, stick to the rules and just use drugstore. So I'm like, okay, I'll survive. Am I tripping or is this a hit? Like, this looks looking really good. Take some of this powder and just press under my eye. You know, this actually is working out better than I thought it would. I'm not mad at this. Like, I'm not mad at this at all. This is looking really high-end to me. Go back over there on my brush and buff it out. All right, now I'm not gonna lie, I do have an urge to use my transformation palette and just add some pink powder, but I can't. Okay, let's bronze and just move on, okay? I mean, okay. I'm trying to make one do eyeshadow or not. I bought these Carity palettes. One is called Nude. I just picked them all up and threw them in the bag. Cause Joanna, when she did my makeup, she used Carity palettes, so I knew they were like legit. And so I got this nude one, and that's cute. My mom will like this. This is so my mom. Um, I got the palette called Smoke, and this is really pretty. But I don't really want any bold colors right now. And then I got this bronzer palette that looked really legit to me. Contour kit. Um, are you too dark for me? See, I've never shopping that late again for makeup. Like it works for groceries. That's food, but like, I don't know why. In that moment, I thought this would be a hit. I'm gonna use the, the warmer shade, the beige, and just work with that. I mean, this would be a hit, just not for me. I'm probably gonna give away to one of my friends. I mean, I'm making it work. Take a tad of that. Start with the warm and then use a little bit of the dark to kind of like do the detail work. For blush, in this Carity palette, I see this peach color that I like. It's called ABC.
I'm looking at these palettes to see if there's like some type of shade that I could put under my under eye to make it brighter. Because you guys know I need a bright under eye. But if I took this shade right here down my under eye, that would not be okay. Or would it be? Do I want to mess up my whole face and risk it? Let's see. I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to take the shade natural. There's very little. You guys know things are getting real when I start to whisper. She's very little. Hold on, Chief. Did I just do something? I'm not mad at that. I'm not. But in order to see what it really looks like, we need to set the face. Because sometimes when you're doing a lot of powders, um, it just, it can look a certain way. And it's almost like when you wet your face and set it, it brings everything out. So let's set it real quick just to see what we're really looking like. Let me use my next dewy setting spray. I'm setting mist. Oh, I'm so cold, oh my God. <sighs> for drugstore, this looks really good. So for brows, I'm gonna take the pencils I'm already used to using. The NYX eyebrow pencil. This is the, yeah, the micro brow pencil. I love these things. You guys know I always use these. I just bought some more because I mean, why not? I use espresso and chocolate. So I'm gonna fill those in really fast. Using only pencil. All right, so I fill my brows in. Now I'm gonna take another one of the L'Oreal concealers. Um, this is a slightly darker shade. Clean that up. I'm an idiot because when I grabbed this pencil, I was positive it was brown. This is gold. It's called golden bronze. This is gold. This must be for my lips. What the heck? Luckily, I have other brown lip liners, so I'm gonna grab one. Okay, I have a NYX brown lip liner in the shade brown. Oh crap! I could just totally ruin my makeup. So I bought a few glosses. So I bought this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Praline. Ooh, you're pretty. I didn't know how like opaque it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be darker than this, but this is actually perfect. On top of that, I'm using Essence Gloss that I also got at CVS. I love they have Essence there. Essence is bomb. And this is the shade Bright On. This is considered soft glam. I think I'm tired with that. This is definitely soft glam. I hope. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else I want to do? I have to at least touch one of these carity palettes because I didn't spend money on this to not use it at all. If you notice, I didn't put any primer on because I didn't want to be too like dark. I want to be very airbrushed looking since we're now going for soft glam. Honestly, I take the shade and kind of contour my nose a little bit. I definitely couldn't contour with that powder I used earlier to bronze. I'm trying to think if I want to add any more. No, I'm straight. For lashes, it's either between this Kiss Lash or Carity. I don't know. Or maybe I can do mascara. No, I'm putting lashes on. I'm gonna go figure this out and I'll let you guys know which one I, ones I chose because I have no idea. I've never used either or, so I don't know which one's gonna look good. Or I bought um, these, these like, you know, original Ardell um, lashes, the Wispies. So I'm gonna figure out. You guys will see me in lashes in like five seconds and you'll know which ones I picked. Like, I have no idea. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I almost canceled this whole video because I couldn't find the lash I liked the most. At first, I tested out the Kiss Lash. Way too dramatic. Don't know what I was thinking. These just, they didn't do it for me. So I tested the Carity. 
And I almost didn't do it, I'm like, oh my god, like, you know, maybe this just, just canceled, you know? But, I test those out, and I cut off, I think I cut off this much? Yeah, I cut off the ends of them. Put a little glue on, they look really good, they look really natural too. I actually really like these lashes a lot, they're very lightweight, super comfy. And they go perfect with this look, so I'm happy I didn't give up. Like, it's kind of funny that this is like the last option or last choice, and it was the best one, so. Joke's on me. If I knew I liked these so much, I would've bought more pair. Now I'm mad. I go all the way back to the Beverly Center to buy them. But at least they're in store and I have to wait online. And that's why I think it's so cool what CVS is doing. Cause now you can get brands that, you know, it would typically be online in CVS. All right, we're all lined up, lashed up. Oh wait, I need lower lash mascara. This is from a London mascara. I bought another one of these. So now I'm gonna take this Kiss Gloss. It's called Glam Shine. These are new. I'm gonna just apply a little bit of that. It smells so freaking good. I think that's it. Okay, so I guess that concludes this video. Um, I feel like this is perfect soft glam. I'm not gonna lie. Usually, you guys know me, I always use high-end stuff, but for all drugstore, this looks really good. Like, you can't really even tell that it's drugstore. I feel like with drugstore makeup, it's really tricky because, I mean, you guys know, like, certain brands or shade ranges, you know, it's just, it's always, you know, it's just drugstore, you know, it's drugstore makeup. Um, but I feel like if you know how to, like, mix colors or improvise and stuff like that, you can make it work. And so, I like how this came out. Um, this looks really good, looks really natural, looks really pretty. I wish, like I wish I could have had Johns in my makeup because I really, I mean she already did my makeup twice. It would have been cool to film that because I really like her makeup style a lot. Like I mean like even when I try to do natural, this ain't natural. I mean y'all just, you guys seen how much make, makeup I just put on, it's not natural. Um, but it looks good, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, please subscribe. Be sure to look up if your local CVS has this new feature they just added. Um, go on and check it out. You can make an appointment. You can go if you want your ears pierced, you want maybe you want like a cute little braid in your hair, maybe you want to blow out. Like just check it out. It's super affordable, it's super convenient because it's inside a CVS, so it won't hurt. Check it out. And um, yeah, I'll leave any information that you may need down below. I'll list all the products you down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video.